Uh, good morning, this is uh, John VK2AWJ uh, doing a, uh, a setup on using my KX3 transceiver in conjunction with Etherpig, the application on the MacBook Pro, and Hamlogra on the iPad, and controlling the KX3 from the iPad. Um, first, we're going to start up Etherpig on the uh, MacBook. Uh, before I do that, I might just mention briefly there are three cables connecting the uh, KX3 to the uh, MacBook Pro. The one plug into the accessory one port is the KX3 serial cable that goes into a USB port. Then the two audio cables, the red one and the green one from K Allocraft, uh, the green one plugs into the microphone port on the KX3 and goes into the line out or the earphone plug on the side of the uh, MacBook and the red one, not plugged in at the moment, but we plug into the phone's port on the KX3 and goes into the line-in port on the MacBook. And you'll see that I've uh, chosen the sound preferences pane with the input and uh, input is line-in, output is headphones. Each of those uh, are set to a mid-level. Okay, let's start Etherpig. Log in. And start. And registration is successful on uh, Etherpig. I'll now start. And the other thing, of course, is that the iPad is on a different uh, network than the, uh, the home network on the uh, MacBook Pro. I'm running a wireless broadband device and have a completely separate uh, internet uh, network. So first of all we start Hamlog, authenticate And it sees that we've selected the uh, Bellacraft KX3 with the full interface. I'm registered in to my home I, uh, IP. I now press connect. Now, I don't get any sound out of the uh, <laughs> KX3 at the moment uh, because I've got the earphone plug pulled in. I'll close, I'll put the earphones in. And now the sound is coming from uh, the iPad. Now what I tend to do is to do a, a, a microphone level check. There's no way... Oh, first of all, let's go to the my log page. Add an entry. And I've got the green light up here. Press pigtail. And I have on screen now the uh, control panel of the KX3 displayed on the iPad. I'll just shift the uh, Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a test call by pressing the transmit and observing the uh, level meter on the KX3. Uh, this is VK2AWJ, VK2 Alpha Whiskey Juliet uh, testing. Anyone using the frequency, please? Hello, test. Hello, test. This is VK2AWJ uh, testing on the uh, thing. Now, the microphone level. Hello, hello, test. Hello, test. Yep, that appears to be all right. Uh, the microphone level, I'm adjusting to 30. Right, now, so uh, microphone level appears to be okay. What I'll do now is I'll put out a CQ call and see if anyone can come back to me. By the way, I'm using a, uh, an inverted V broadband dipole um, 
and uh, let's see if we can uh, organise a new one. This is VK2AWJ calling CQ40, CQ40 metres. VK2 Alpha Whiskey Juliet calling CQ on 40 metres. Hello CQ, hello CQ, this is VK2 Alpha Whiskey Juliet. VK2 AWJ calling CQ on 40, CQ 40. VK2 AWJ standing by. Uh, VK3, uh, Victor Echo Kilo, VK3 VEK, this is VK2 AWJ. I'm operating, operating uh, QRP, uh, my name is John. Uh, back to you. Yeah, thanks for coming back there, Kevin. Uh, yes, what I'm doing here, I'm operating a, a KX3 transceiver, 12 watts, but I'm controlling it by speaking into my iPad. Now, that's the uh, the problem with the echoing room. It's um, <laughs> the uh, the microphone on the iPad is three or four hundred kilo uh, meters, or, sorry, millimeters away from my face, and that's giving the echo. Thank you for the five seven. I'll give you a report on the next one. VK3, uh, Victor Echo Kilo, VK2AWJ in Gol Gol. Uh, just a uh, one of those projects that grabs my attention. There is a, a program running on my laptop called EtherPig, and the KX3 is connected via a serial port to the accessory port on the KX3, and the two sound uh, sources on the KX3, the microphone and the phones, go into their uh, opposite counterparts on the laptop, the Mac Pro uh, MacBook that I've got as a laptop. <laughs> and uh, on, the lap, on, the, on the iPad I run a program called Hamlog which uh, talks back to my home IP address. It's on a separate, uh, separate uh, network and I'm able to control the, the KX3 or uh, perhaps I could use a different uh, transceiver later um, to operate the rig. Huh, amazing. My, the location is Gol Gol and I spell Golf Oscar Lima Golf Oscar Lima and it's located on the Murray River near Mildura. Uh, okay and your QDH being Stoyle. VK3 Victor Echo Kilo VK2 AWJ Yeah, well, uh, Stall is actually an old stamping ground of mine. Way back in 1959, Victor, 59 or 60, I had my first uh, teaching appointment at Stall Tech. I taught at Stall Tech for three years. I lived in Cahoon Street on a rented property. And of course, while we were there, the, uh, the Stall gift was always one of the big highlights of the year. Um, one of the other highlights was playing for uh, 
one of the, the store police club, youth club, uh, Creek club, and had been winning a premiership, premiership way back in those days. So I know Stall pretty well, and a great place to live. And because I moved on to different places after that, but uh, yeah, have a, a good connection with Stall, and uh, very very happy memories indeed. Yes, well, actually, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing a video of this little test. I'm sitting beside the KX3. Under normal circumstances, I could be with my iPad anywhere on the internet and can be controlling it back home here in the shack. And uh, you might give a comment on audio. You mentioned the audio quality, the, the echoing noise due to the room and the iPad microphone. What about the actual level or the, the quality of the, of the actual transmission? Uh, back to you, Kim. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm actually sitting in my shack here in front of the computer, in front of the iPad, and I've got the KX3 alongside me here, so I can sort of uh, monitor what's going on as far as the uh, RF out is concerned. It's, as I said, it's 12 watts. That's the maximum you can get out of this little rig when you supply it with about 12.8 uh, or 12.6 volts. And, of course, you can turn it down lower than that, but I'm running maximum power for this little rig. And you're a good 5758 five, here into Golgol near Mildura. Yeah, a mad weekend here up this way, of course. There's a huge water sports weekend, uh, motor, the motor sports and uh, rowing regattas. It's a, a very busy, busy time. Well, thank you indeed for that uh, contact, Kevin. I uh, thrilled a bit that uh, it's all working well and that the remote operation, which is just a, uh, a special project I'm doing at the moment, appears to be working quite well. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to use a, uh, a wireless headset to, uh, as a microphone and receiving or noise to receive the uh, audio but for this purpose so I need to have the, uh, the sound coming out of and into the iPad to uh, let the um, video camera see and hear what's going on. So I say 73s, thank you indeed for the contact and hope to catch up with you again uh, further down the log. VK3, Victor Echo Kilo, VK2, AWJ. Yeah, cheers, Kim. Uh, QRZ, this is VK2, Alpha Whiskey Juliet, QRP. Now oh, this is VK2AWJ, try the transmit button first. Now oh, this is VK2AWJ going clear. Well, there we go. Let's hope that all goes on to the video okay. Uh, I'll be closing down here now and uh, trying to get this onto my computer so I can send it off and on email.